Hi, this is Matt Wilson, Interim President at the University of Akron. And this is Lights, Camera, Akron on ZTV. Welcome everyone to Lights, Camera, Akron. Jake Marshall here alongside my co-host, Matt Barnhart. And we are super excited for fall, just like you are. And I know I love pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns. What do you love? I love the weather to get chillier and the leaves to change yeah. and stuff like that. It's just so cozy. I'm you, excited. Yes. The time is coming to get excited for UA's annual homecoming festivities. will take place this week throughout campus. Demir Everson gives us a preview on what to expect this year. In the past few years, homecoming at the University of Akron hasn't been as popular as it should be. However, UA is pushing to make homecoming more relevant on campus. We sat down with ZPN's Christina Ayat Toss, who is heavenly involved in planning this year's homecoming week. So for the people who don't know anything about homecoming, what is homecoming? Okay, so homecoming is basically an entire week of events at the University of Akron. It happens at a lot of other colleges too. And um, the whole week just has like, we do tabling events, we do marketing things to get the dance out there. Um, this year we're bringing in a comedian, which is kind of a new thing. We've had concerts in the past. Um, and then it ends on Friday with the dance and the football game on Saturday. So it's just an entire week of events kind of like to bring the campus together for a whole fun week of events, comedians, concerts, a dance, and a football game. So it's kind of like a fun way for everybody to come together and just do something together as a university. It sounds like so much fun. How much time goes into planning an event like this? Okay, so we've been planning this event since um, late July, early August. So you got um, mostly what I've been planning is the dance. So you have to do, you have to like kind of sit down, decide on a theme, what you want to do. You got to decide that kind of early on. You have to be like, how am I going to reach out to people about this? Who am I going to bring in? Um, what kinds of things am I going to have at the dance? What kind of food am I going to have? How am I going to incorporate the theme? And then once you pick a theme, you kind of go off of, um, you start with the dance, start planning that, and then kind of do like, what am I going to do for the rest of the week? So it's been about, how many months since then? Like three months of planning? Mm -hmm. That's yes. <laughs> very long, very long. I, don't, I, I wouldn't have been able to do it. What makes a college homecoming different than a high school homecoming? Okay, so a high school homecoming is basically just a dance and a football game. In my high school, we really didn't do much during the week. It wasn't like a spirit building kind of thing. We just um, ended the week with like a dance and then we went to the football game. Here it's kind of much more of like a community building thing and it's like a whole week of events to get excited for. Like we got the two tabling events that we're doing with, um, it's gonna be like prizes, trivia, food, all kinds of fun stuff going on for those. And then we have the comedian coming in and then we have the dance and the football game on for Friday. So at a university, it's much more of like a community effort where you're trying to get everybody excited for the football game, trying to get everybody excited for the dance, and it's kind of more of, we have all of these students, what, like uh, 20,000, 30,000 on Akron's campus, and we want to bring them all together and just get everybody excited for the football game, get everybody to have fun and come together as a community. So I think in college, it's much more of a community thing. With all the changes coming to homecoming, Hopefully, this should be a big week for UA. This has been Demir Epperson from Lights, Camera, Akron. Honestly, I've never been to Homecoming, but I'm really excited to see what they're going to offer this year. Yeah, I have high hopes. I've never been myself, yeah. but after seeing what Demir put together, makes me want to go. And they're including so many students this year, so I really hope it turns out really great. All right, we'll take a quick commercial break, but we'll be right back. Stay tuned to find out how our very own students are making an impact on UA when LCA returns. All right, I'm Tyler Reed. I'm from Hammock City. You are watching Lights, Camera, Akron only on ZTV. Last time here on LCA, we got the chance for an exclusive interview with President Wilson. While he has emerged as the voice of our university, some wonder who is the voice of the student body. Well, we got the chance to catch up with two UA standouts involved in the undergraduate student government. Our Maddie Watkins has the story. The student body and administration has come together in more ways than one because of the recent change in leadership. 
I got the new outlook for the university's future from President and Vice President of the Undergraduate Student Government, Megan Bodenschatz and Sterling Galehouse. What is the Undergraduate Student Government's mission or their vision? So our mission as an organization is to serve as the liaison between the student body and administration um, to preserve and protect the quality of life for our students at the University of Akron and make sure that students are getting the best experience they can possibly get. Why did you guys choose to be a part of USG? Well, I think I originally chose to be a part of USG because I wanted to take an active role on campus being a student leader and I happen to really like politics and I thought that this is one way that I could get involved and you know it help out students at the same time, kind of leave my mark. Uh, I feel like I have a true passion for the University of Akron and the Akron community and I felt this was a great way to get involved in the Akron community and the University of Akron and make sure that students are having a great experience and leave a lasting impact and have a legacy here at the University of Akron. So that brings me to the next question is why did you run for president? Well, um, it just kind of seemed like the natural progression, to be honest, of the positions that I have held. I started off in a committee, then I was a director and then chief of staff, and so um, I felt like I was kind of at a point where the only position further than chief of staff was going to be president. Yeah. Um, so I really wanted to take that opportunity to um, further my experience here at Akron and um, really push for uh, a better student experience and I say student experience a lot but I think that that's really what our goal is as an organization is to make sure that students are having a good experience, we're having a good experience and um, really impact the lives of our peers. And why did you run for vice president? Well I think part of it was is I wanted to be take my game to the next level of being a student leader on campus. I wanted to see things done a certain way and I had a job working in the president's office so I felt like this was a great way to kind of help bridge the gap between administrators and students. In the last year we've had a lot of changes and I wanted to contribute to kind of help things out, smooth things over and just this last summer we've experienced a lot of changes so I just wanted to be that person kind of who was in control and could help the students out in new situations. Since there was a recent change in leadership, how have you guys um, reacted to it and how do you think the students are reacting to it? I think overall it's a very positive reaction um, with interim president Wilson you, you see a lot more interaction with students and I think that's really important um, you know looking back at not just Dr. Scarborough but Dr. Poenza as well um, there wasn't really that interaction with students and I think it's just so different from anything anyone has experienced because um, just in my four years here now this is the third president that I've experienced and same with Sterling I believe so um, you know getting to see how he interacts differently and in a positive way um, morale on campus is definitely a lot um, better than what it was before and people are really hopeful for what the University of Akron has to hold in the next couple of years. How well do you think you're reaching your goals that you set during last year's USG debate and elections? Um, I think we're getting there. Um, I, one of our biggest goals was student outreach and we've introduced a few new things and especially Senate this year where we have money allocated to our senators to host um, student outreach events on campus um, and we've made a lot of uh, progress there. A lot of our members are you know, starting to brainstorm. We're only five weeks into the semester so um, things are kind of just now starting to get rolling. How are your personal relationships with President Wilson now that he is taken over? I think that it's extremely positive. We've had opportunities, multiple opportunities to meet one-on-one -on -one with him or two-on-one -on -one. and we have found ways that we can bridge the gap between the administration and students. As you see he's been taking a more active role on campus communicating with students the day when he went out and played basketball against Khalil and that was a huge hit and so you know we're telling him things that he can do to help students and we're also communicating with the students hey you know this guy really cares about us and he could be the one for us moving forward. Yeah and just speaking on a personal note too he's so welcoming and so encouraging. Um, I've sat in on a meeting with him where you know we're going through talking about what USG is working on and then it, the conversation takes a complete turn and he's like well how are you doing and what's your major and what are your career aspirations and he's trying to convince me to go to law school <laughs> um, and so he you know he's just he truly is trying to be a friend to everyone on campus and that's really unique in a president.
Just in the short amount of time, President Wilson has reassured the students of his ability to move the university in a positive direction. He and the student government are working together to help the students reach their full potential. The university is excited for what's to come. This has been Maddie Watkins for Lights, Camera, Akron. Yeah, so this is really great because I don't think our student government has had this in a while. And I think our student government loves President Wilson and the direction that he's taking. So, all right, we're going to take a quick commercial break, but when we come back, we'll jump into this week's Hidden Gems. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Brian O'Donnell, the writer and co-director of Akron the Film. And you're watching Lights, Camera, Akron, only on ZTV. Before we unveil this week's hidden gems, let's send it to the newsroom where Brooke McKerrigan has this week's headlines. Brooke, what do you have for us? Thanks guys. The University of Akron's very own student is making a difference in the lives of many all the way across the world. Alex Nyarko, who is a doctoral student, has started a nonprofit organization called Science on Wheels. Science on Wheels brings science to middle and junior high school levels all the way in Ghana, Africa. Alex himself is from Ghana and believes that in order to advance in our country and in Africa, science must become a priority. Keep up the great work, Alex. Looking to dunk on the press? President of the University of Akron, Matthew Wilson, will be at the Student Union Courtyard from 11.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. this Monday challenging students in one-on-one -on -one basketball or in a game of horse. If you beat him, which from what I hear from our producer Khalil Smith is impossible to do, you'll win a $5 Starbucks gift card. Bring your A-game and show President Wilson who really runs this school. The Zips won a very close and exciting football game to rival Kent State last Saturday. Quarterback Trayvon Chapman scored two touchdowns for the Zips who won 31-27. The Zips will take on Miami of Ohio this coming weekend on the 8th for their homecoming game. Kickoff is scheduled for 3 p.m. Go Zips! That's all for this week's headlines. Be sure to tune in to Lights, Camera, Akron for updates and the latest on what's happening here at the University of Akron. Matt, Jade, back to you guys. Thanks, Brooke. And I don't know if you saw, but our friends over at WZIP hosted a little boxing match last week. I heard you went down to the same boxing club, right? Yep, I saw the celebrity boxing match and I thought I should try this. Like I've always wanted to do this. So I took a trip down to the Rodriguez Boxing Club for this week's Hidden Gym. I got to get in the ring at Akron's local Rodriguez Boxing Club. Founded on hard work, dedication, and the love for the sport, the family-owned gym has more to offer than just boxing. A good friend of mine uh, told me about it. if you need something for your kids to do, try boxing. Walked in it one day, never stopped it. Me and my brother just stuck with it, uh, fell in love with it. Uh, we've been fighting since we were eight. Both of us, uh, we're both still boxing and competing. He's professional now, I'm still amateur. Um, you know. I think it really hit when um, we went to Olympic qualifier. Uh, he made it to the quarters and I made it to the semis quarters. And uh, that was a great opportunity. We fought with no headgear, so it was a good experience and uh, learned a lot. This gym started, it actually started probably about maybe eight years ago. We, we, we thought about doing this and we just kind of waited, just kind of pit it off. And, Cause it's a big commitment. You have to be here every day. so. I guess to sum it all up is you never know if it's going to work unless you try, and that's what we did. Gym to gym in Akron for 10 plus years, and finally uh, my dad made it happen, so he's a hard working man. So. They let me put on some gloves and put me through the paces of a boxer at their gym. I'm really excited. He's like, I'm not going to hurt you today. I'm ready for this. Not everybody has to compete in the ring, so I mean, it's, it's more fitness as well as it is boxing. I mean, not everybody gets in here and boxes, but it is a good workout and everybody everybody likes to do it. It's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. Because it's involving all your mind, 
or your body. You're thinking, you gotta, you gotta coordinate that together. So, so it's, 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 it's a lot of mental and physical. It's just not punching a bag. It's more unique because we're gonna have smaller classes, you're gonna have personal attention, and we're gonna push you. You're not just gonna be working out in the corner and we tell you to go hit that bag and forget about you. We're gonna be in your face pushing you and sometimes pushing you to your limits. Along with regular training sessions, Rodriguez Boxing Club is now offering Saturday workouts for everyone so they can receive real boxing experiences. This has been Jade Marshall from Lights, Camera, Akron. That workout was so hard, but I'm so happy I went. I definitely give my props out to them. They work so hard, it takes so much discipline. After all your training, I'm going to have to start calling you Sugar Ray Jade, too. Yeah, I can get into that ring. All right, now we're going to take a look at our brand new segment here on LCA. Katie Bowman gives the students a chance to prove how much they really know about UA. Let's check it out. Hey guys, Katie Bowman here at the Student Union for our brand new segment. We're going to test some students' knowledge with a little fact or fiction. Number one, the Pickles family from the Nickelodeon show Rugrats was originally from Akron. Number two, Akron is home to the annual National Pizza Festival. Number three, Akron was the fourth city to use cop cars. So which one do you think is a fact? Uh, I think the cop car one. The cop car one, that is actually fiction. Akron was actually the first city to use cop cars, but those cop cars are a little different than you'd expect. They were fully electric. They had to be recharged every 30 miles and they only went 16 miles an hour. Give it another try. The real girl? Yeah! Awesome job, girl! <laughs> Thank you! Akron is actually home to the annual National Hamburger Festival. They have a lot of food, great games, they even have bobbing for hamburgers. They have a huge vat of ketchup with sliders in it. Stick your head in, try and get a hamburger. It sounds gross, but it's really perfect for you hamburger lovers out there. Okay, number one. The first sorority established on campus was 80 Pie. Number two. The UA Zips were originally called the Zippies. Number three, John Heisman of the Heisman Trophy coached baseball and football. So which one do you think is a fact? I'm gonna go with two. Two, that is fiction. The UA mascot was originally referred to as the Zippers, not the Zippies or the Zips. I had to give it another try though. How about a third one? The third one? Yep, doing. you got it, bring it in. <laughs> awesome job, man. What a great segment, and developed by our very own Katie Bowman. Yes, very creative, and it gets students involved on campus. Plus, I could have never, like, I would have picked the lie probably every time. <laughs> All right, that concludes this episode of Lights, Camera, Akron. But before we go, don't forget to check out our LCA social media pages listed at the bottom of the screen. You can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube page, ZTV LCA. This has been Jay Marshall and Matt Barnhart. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Lights, Camera, Akron. We'll see you next time. This program was produced by ZTV at the University of Akron. To find out how you can make Emmy-winning media, visit the UA School of Communication online. ZTV. Make media. Make a difference.